Hello, everyone. Oh, you know, doing this is in selfie mode. I'm looking in the wrong place. So what do I do over here, here, up here? <laughs> um, so today is a sort of an educational demonstration of how to check to see if your dough is either too wet or too dry. I'm going to purposely make one recipe of dough in one bread maker as too wet and another one as too dry. I have subtracted uh, 40 grams from one to make it to 40 grams of flour to make that too wet and sub added 40 grams of flour and the other one to make it too dry. I have post-it notes labeling in the bread machines and um, we're going to see how that goes. Same recipe, my French bread recipe, by the way, I will link you to the recipe. Always start with what the recipe says on the, you know, but always know that you may have to add either some flour or some liquid, no matter how many times. If you make a recipe 10 times and you don't have to add flour or liquid, then the, don't assume that the 11th time you won't have to because it's all about climate and temperature and everything else in your kitchen and in your area and stuff like that. So here's the educational demonstration. Ah. So I'm going to be making my French bread recipe. And this recipe calls for 465 grams of bread flour. So in zone number one, I'm going to, I subtracted 465 minus 40. So I'm only putting in, this is 425 grams. So it's 40 grams less than what the recipe calls for. And that will be in Zojirushi number one. And that dough should be too wet. And then I will show you how I fix it by adding flour to make it just right and into a smooth dough ball. And then in Zojirushi number two, that's the bread pan, not the bread machine, obviously. I've taken that 465 grams and added 40 grams to 505 grams, and that should be too dry. <laughs> and that will be in the second bread machine, zone number two. So I've taken 465 plus 40 is 505, and that should be show as too dry, and then I will add liquid to make it the right consistency that we have a smooth dough ball. So it's not an experiment exactly, it's a demonstration because I want you to learn how to read your dough to know whether it's too wet and you need to add more flour or whether it's too dry and you need to add more liquid. So I am going to go ahead, I've already just put the liquids in. This is uh, water, olive oil, and honey, see? And then I'm gonna add the flour, the salt, the sugar, and the yeast, put them in the bread machines and it'll preheat for a little bit. And then when it starts kneading after about five minutes, I will be showing you and I will put these post-it notes on the bread machines so I cannot get screwed up and I can show you then what too wet looks like, what too dry looks like and how to fix it. Yay! So it's been kneading for about five minutes. And this should be our dough that looks too wet. First, I'm going to show you through the window, which is kind of hard to see. And I'm going to open it. And the reason I know this is too wet is that, number one, it's very sticky. See how it's sticking to my finger? It should not be that sticky. It should only be tacky not sticky. And then the other thing is it just looks like a blob and it's, it, yeah, it's just, blah, it's just really sticky. So I'm going to add, this is what I would do normally is add a little more flour, not all of it, and let it go for another minute. Now I got to wipe my hand off, so I'll be okay. back. With you. Now we're back at zone number one where the dough should have been too wet, which it absolutely was, and I added more flour. Okay. It is still definitely too wet, and the reason I know is that it's a blob. 
for lack of a better, uh, for lack of a more scientific word, it's a blob. It's not coming together in a smooth dough ball and it is still sticky because the dough is coming off. So I'm going to, and this is what you do normally. You add a little bit of flour at a time. Normally about a tablespoonful, which is about 10 grams. But since I kind of know it's gonna need more, I just kind of put more in. We'll come back and look at that in a minute. Alrighty then, this is zone number two. And this is the one that's too dry. I put in more flour, 40 extra grams. Now let's see what that looks like. Through the window. And, okay. It's tacky, not sticky. It's actually not too bad um humidity can also now it does yeah it does need just a little bit of water although i'm not sure it needs very much um it just um on the side you see how it's kind of looks like a rock like craggy and we still have some stuff sticking to the side so i'm gonna add just a splash probably about a tablespoon or two and We'll see that, what that looks like in another minute. And now we're going to go back. I hope this is not confusing you. We're going back to zone number one, which was too wet. And I added some more flour. That was about a minute or two ago. So now I'm going to... All right, now we're back to zone number two, the too dry. And I added a little bit of water and let's check to see what this dough ball looks like inside. Let's see. Mm, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we're about there. Sometimes you do have a little stickiness but um, on the sides, but that's no big deal. And um, I don't think this needs any more water. I think we are good to go. All right, we are back to our too wet dough in zone number one. It is, let's see. Eh, not actually to use the other hand. Still a little more than tacky. So I'm going to put a little more flour in. And let that get back to kneading. looks pretty good nice dough ball uh, so number two I didn't have to add very much water um, it wasn't super too dry but oh, I've got I've got dough on my camera of course <laughs> or on my phone anyway um, number two I'm just gonna let go we're good number one let's look one more time see if we have enough flour aha Okay, we're so close. There's dough around the uh, paddle. It's still a little bit sticky. So I'm going to add the rest of my flour that I shorted the recipe. And we'll be back to that. All right, we're going to look at zone number one, the original too wet. I've added the exact, well, a little less because there's a little bit of the bowl, but amount of flour that I had shorted it. Let's look and see. I actually think it needs just a hair more. I'm gonna go get some more flour just a sec. As you can see, I put another tablespoon or about 10 grams of flour in there. And, um, you know, just because I shorted it 10 grams or 40 grams doesn't mean it's going to be exactly 40 gram short, that's just what I chose to do. You have to look at your dough every time you make a loaf of bread. I'm gonna close this and let it go. And um, because your climate, the temperature of your kitchen, everything is a variable. So just because I subtracted 40 grams doesn't mean I didn't, didn't only needed to add 40 grams, it actually needed more. This one, is gorgeous. 
Perfect. That's sew number two that was originally too dry. I have a funny feeling that it's pretty humid because I haven't really paid attention to a barometer or looked on my phone, but um, this bread needed another 20 grams approximately above what I normally put in. It's, it's almost there, but it was just a, a tiny bit tacky. We have good news. This is so number one, originally the too wet. We added back in the 40 grams plus about another 20. And we have a beautiful smooth dough ball. Let's quickly look at the other one. And again, we have a beautiful smooth dough ball. And I think our dough is all set. While this part isn't anything really to do with too wet, too dry, I'm just gonna show you a little update. Uh, this was the too wet dough that I added flour to. You can see it's rising gorgeously. And over here, this one that was the one that was too dry that I added water to. And it is also rising gorgeously. There you go. This was the too wet dough and it turned out perfectly. It rose beautifully. I got it out of the bread machine and I am making my uh, signature loafies. <laughs> this is an 18 cavity pan that I divide up. And um, of course, I've set my oven to the lowest temperature for rising and turning it back off again. And I'm going to put these into rise and then I have my second dough. And of course this had more flour because I made it the uh, too dry one. So I had to put more flour in and add a water. So it's a little bit bigger of a, a hunk of dough, hunk of hunk of burning dough. Well, not burning. Anyway, so these are going into rise and I'm gonna form these into something creative right now. This is the result of zone number one, the one that was originally too wet. These are what I call loafies, they're mini loaves. This is one of my favorite things. Um, I do have a whole video on making these and I will link it, but it makes these little cute little mini loaves and I cut these in half, you know, this way and um, mix up fresh um, garlic and Kerrygold butter and make the best garlic bread. Um, I throw these in the freezer and just have them on hand for garlic bread whenever I want them. The other dough, I just mess around and exper experimented, and I'm not going to show you that because they, they look silly. But anyway, um, this is the end of this video. I hope you um, learned about dough being too wet or too dry, and I'm always here for you with questions. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks so much for your support.